Hi, now let's take a look at uh, different kinds of openings and how much space you get um, for an opening. So let's imagine we have two walls, say this is wall one, and this is wall two. Let's color them in say, green color. Now let's call this a uh, living area. And let's imagine that this is the dining area. Okay. And now say your client comes to you saying that um, I want to create a, this is the gap that I have and I want to close this with a sliding partition. Uh, so let's look at all the different uh, options that we can give them. Okay. So the first uh, and the most cost effective option is to give, let's say, one fixed, uh, one sliding. Okay. So the red is the fixed panel and the blue is the door. So the door is going to slide like this and it's going to close like this. Now, um, in this case, we have to obviously the door cannot be bigger than the fixed panel. Uh, see, I'll tell you what happens in case it's bigger. Okay. Let's make this small. Okay. So in this case, the door is bigger than the fixed panel. So now what happens is when the door tries to close, well, it can't go beyond this wall. And this place is blocked anyways. The only open space you have is here. So it does not make sense to create a door panel which is larger than the fixed panel. But the reverse is true. You can have a large fixed panel and a small door opening. And the door can slide here or go all the way to the back. But normally, um, what we have is the door and the fixed panel are approximately the same size. And so as a result, once it opens up, you get a 50% opening. Now this is the maximum opening you can get with one fixed and one door panel. Now, what if the client says, but I want a larger area to be open even I have a party or guests. So in that case, what we're gonna do is we are gonna create two door panels. So let's look at an example here where we have two door panels. So now when, so we have these two doors on different tracks and when they close, so let's bring this here, let's bring this here, then you have 66% opening because this area is divided into three equal parts, which means each panel is 33%, right? Each panel size is 33%. So you get a 66% opening and so on. If you were to do four, three panels, okay, where each panel size is 25%, then you can get the maximum opening area of 75%. You get 75%. Now you keep increasing the number of panels and keep reducing their size and this number will go up. But what it means is the cost will also go up. So eventually the client has to strike a balance between the money they're willing to spend and the amount of opening that they want. Now, uh, when we talked about 50% uh, opening uh, with one door, one fixed, we can also have a scenario where we get a 50% opening where we have two fixed panels on each end and two doors that when close, they are on the same track 
and when they are open they slide towards the fixed panel so you have the central passage which is open in the first case when we had this application the opening was either on the left hand side or the right hand side but if you want the central passage open then you can have four panels with two door panels sliding on each side now let's go back to uh, a scenario where we have three panels um, so what normally happens um, is that these three doors are on three different tracks uh, and so imagine these three doors are not linked so what you have to do is you have to when you want to open you have to move this panel here then you move this panel here and then you move this door panel here and again when you want to close you can have to move this door panel all the way here this all the way here and this all the way here so it takes three times the effort to close and three times the effort to open the panel so what we can do in this case is we can go for a telescopic system which means each of these panels are interconnected so they all move together now let's quickly take a look at a video of a telescopic system and you will understand Notice how the, when you move the front door, it moves all the panels along with it and immediately when you close the door, it moves all the panels along with it. So it only takes a single effort to move each panel and so this telescopic system is uh, very preferable when you have got more than one door panels. As you can see on the top, you can see the telescopic mechanism and ideally the fixing detail on site uh, will have to be designed as such that you hide all of these mechanisms. You can only see the door profile. So this communication for telescopic systems has to be made very clear to the client from day one with drawings. Now let's look at a synchro system. Uh, now a synchro system Essentially, synchro means you move one thing and some, something else which is synced with it moves two. So now in this case, you can have an application where you can move each one of these door panels separately. Um, but we can also have a mechanism where while you are moving this door panel, this door panel also moves in the opposite direction. So now let's quickly take a look at uh, a synchronized video to get a better idea. In this case, again, uh, we'll move one door and the second door will move along with it. So this is called a synchro system. In this case, the rear panel, one door. So this is how the synchro system works perfectly. In this case, there are no fixed panels. All four panels are moving panels and the rear two panels are synchro as well. So this can be installed in any configuration that you like. 